Hello, Yak Donalds. It's Milo here, and you're watching Trading Cards. Today, I'm joined with Pete Alonzo, Kevin Biggio, and his crazy graffiti autograph, and Erwin R. Scheister. Uh, we got uh, we got some packs of cards that we're gonna open up today. We're gonna start with NHL Allure. Uh, 21-22, we're looking for whoever the hottest rookie was that year. Could be anybody. I don't really follow the sport. Why is hockey the least expensive of the sports? I don't understand. In terms of cards, trading cards. Tom Wilson. Oh, we got some stickage here. It's not bad. Victor Olofsson. Kirill Kaprizov. I've heard that name before as well. Oh, this guy. He's the big A. That means he's assistant captain. And the team that he plays for is the New Jersey Devils. This is Dougie Hamilton. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We got Philip Grubauer, Grubauer for the Kraken. Jason Robertson for the North Stars. Or are they just called the Stars now? They're just the Stars. Stars. Uh, we got... I haven't seen this insert yet, uh, but I've only opened this pack once. Uh, it is Hustle, Hit, and Never Quit. Hustle, Hit, and Never Quit insert. Keith Yandel. Defense. He's a Philly defenseman. So he probably plays pretty rough. Ivan Prosvetov. And then we got a Rainbow Allure. R rookie. Joe Valeno. Well, this one looks like it's special, and then the one with the rhyming thing on it. You know, I, I'm gonna open this. I know everybody's opening it right now. Um, William Shatner's Tech World. I know another one of these packs. Randomly packed Tech Chrome and autographed cards. Ooh, autographed cards. Maybe. I don't know who's involved in this, but I would say a William Shatner autograph would be pretty cool. Imagine this was the pack that had it. They probably only had three autographs in the entire set. The entire print run. Definitely seen a lot of these cards in the 90s. Okay. These cards were made by cards. The cards are making themselves. No! That's William Shatner, and then everything around him is the tech world. Jake and Beth discover that her father's shuttered electronics lab has been broken into and ransacked. Angry, scowling, she uh, crosses to a large wall cabinet and yanks the door open. This is where the android simulacrum of Byron McMillan was stored, she says. And the cabinet was empty. Well, what happened to that android simulacrum of Ryan <laughs> McMillan. <laughs> I hope we find out what happened to that. I'm gonna, I want to read more of these, but I know you don't want me to. Uh, all right, this, this dude got zapped. Kablow. Oh, this, these are in order for sure. Uh, still across the street from their sky car, Jake says. <laughs> Sid, use the remote on our car. C. Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fish sand sammies everyone's having a hot cocoa and captain arrow sky hire is a robot running a sky car used sky car dealership tampa sky planes we just call them planes so we got that William Shatner pack uh, done. This was big thanks to Retro Hero 1006. Thank you very much. I haven't seen this pack before, and I don't think uh, I feel like maybe there's somebody who's watched this video who hasn't seen it before. So thanks, thanks so much for sharing it. We got this pack now from the Passionate Pack Rat. This is from a while ago, actually. This uh, is not like your average Flintstones pack, though. Because I got a few of those and I opened them up. I think they must have done a lot of different printings or this was maybe um, a promo one? No, I don't know. Maybe a different 
country, U.S. versus Canada, maybe? Alright. Ooh, the cards are different, too. These are different quality. And it's got a small sticker. Ooh. Solo Flight. That's Kyle McLaughlin with Halle Berry. All oh, Flight Plan. That's Halle Berry. I haven't seen any of these cards before. An Old Fashioned Man. Discovered. Who's this? this who's this actor? If you know... It, Hey, if you are the first person to write this actor's name in the comments down below, you could win this card. <laughs> undercover. Oh, that's Fred. It's not undercover. He's still wearing the same stupid stuff. Come on, Fred. All right, let's take a look at her sticker. A tiny sticker. It's so cute. Pebbles Pet. Dino. Let's see if we get... Chris Jericho, or a Dean Ambrose, what's that guy's name, Dean Ambrose, is that like a Moxley, John Moxley, is that what they call him? or a Dan Allison, oh, it looks like we got a Claudio Castagnoli, we got a Bubby Soho, and uh, that's the Claudio card, we got some high flying dude here, Swerve Strickland. That's a cool name. Don't love this card. It's Chris Statlander. That's not a cool name. Who could have had a... Oh, Christian Cage. This one's cool. I like Christian. You know, this This is funny that I opened this. And I don't know if I told the story before or not. But once I was at a, a shopping mall, wood buying... Uh, and I was just hanging out with my friend and we looked over at the Foot Locker and inside the Foot Locker was just Christian by himself buying shoes. And I was like, yo, I'm going to go talk to Christian. So I walk up to Christian and I say, hey, are you Christian? And he says, yeah. And I said, hey, man, I just wanted to let you know I really appreciate your work. And Christian said, thanks, but I'm just buying shoes right now. So and I said, yeah, I understand. OK. And I left. That was my interaction with Christian. <laughs> You've probably heard this story. Okay, we got a blue one here. Dante Martin. Oh, hello, Dante. That is a very blue card. Very blue. 510-205. Born March 3rd, 2001. It's a little baby. Little baby. We got another little baby here. Sting. Um... Not Danhausen, but we got Sting in an exciting Tornado Trios match at Revolution 2022 on March 6th. Sting leaped from a balcony, taking Andrade El Adolo through three tables. Sting would emerge victorious alongside Darby Allen and Sammy Guevara. Jumped from a balcony. He was born in 1959. It was in 2022. Just do some math here. That's uh, 40, 63? He's 63 years old. He's jumping from balconies? I don't know about that, Sting. If you land the wrong way, it might... We got Sleep Away Camp 2 and 3. You might have seen a previous video where we opened this with uh, Riot at the movies. Um... I got jealous. I wanted to open open one myself. And this is Fright Rags, my very first Fright Rags pack opening. I also wanted to shout out uh, Yak Donalds. He oh he's been opening a lot of Fright Rags stuff lately. You should go check him out if you don't know who Yak Donalds is. His videos are not a huge time investment. They're like two minutes to four minutes long, and they're so well edited, and the music chosen is so great. I, I couldn't recommend it more. Go check out Yak Donuts, please. All right, let's open this up. Oh, I guess this is our special card, the sticker. It's uh, Angela's hip Happy Camper Badges. We got a flagpole for Sleepaway Camp 3. Angela's weapons. That's cool. 
and it's a puzzle piece. It's a die cut sticker too. That's neat. That's neat. Ooh, so you get specialty cards autographed. We got the checklist. Come on. I don't want the checklist to act like this. The rules are simple. Looks like that's uh, our yellow parallel here. Once Angela has tied the campers and revealed Barney is dead, she demands the remaining campers play a game of Find Marsha or she will kill them. That's a tough game. Uh, I have some questions about the rules. You almost made it, but then you didn't. You're fired. This is from The Apprentice. Secret Admirer? Looks like a ransom note. One hell of a nightmare. This is when Freddy Krueger showed up in Sleepaway Camp. Where does Angela hide all her victims? A. Ditches the bodies in a local lake. B. In an abandoned cabin. Or C. Serves the bodies in the cafeteria. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? She puts the bodies in an abandoned cabin. Because I read it. Party all night. And party every day. Which camper loves lighting firecrackers all over camp? Is it Snowboy, Peter Doyle, or Riff? It's gotta be Snowboy, right? Nope, that's Peter Doyle. Milo, you idiot. Burned alive. Ooh, that is a tough way to go. Displeased, counselor. Hmm, yes. Peering from behind the tree. Hmm, hmm. Judging. Angela discovers the shot sisters making bad decisions. Or good ones. You know, who's who's to who's to say? Alright, well thank you so much for watching. Take care everybody. See you next time. Hey, thanks for coming to Extra Credit. On Extra Credit today we got baby just brings you back this pack was so damaged i had to just grab it and rip it open you know no use saving it any longer here's the gum remember when times were simpler and it was just you know you and me i'd open packs of baby and you'd be like ha 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 that milo always just opens packs of baby land of mystery Before the sleepaway camp and the AEW medals. The cave of bats. Oh, I heard that that's where Superman came from. Um, Hot pursuit, you're telling me. Ooh, can't take the heat. Stay out of the kitchen, you know what I'm saying, baby? Guess of the Calary. Which ones are they? The Freeing mama, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. That's the point of the movie. I don't know if you've seen this movie, Baby, but it's mostly about freeing Mama. Baby is sighted by a copter. Oh, oh, we have a terrible looking animatronic on the loose. Three's a crowd. One of them's gotta go. And it's not Baby. That's what the movie was called. Awesome sight. You know? This is a classic mistake people make when making trading cards. Especially ones called Awesome Sight. You show the people who are looking at the Awesome Sight, I want to see what they're looking at. I don't want to see the people being struck in awe. Sorry, wrong mama. Not the baby. Kvyat's plan, and then this is the one that was all damaged by the gun. We'll throw that in the garbage. And then uh, just this guy's sweaty chest. Well, that's it. No, we also got a sticker. Baby. Oh, it's Mama. 1985 Touchstone Pictures. Did you know that uh, Touchstone was the name of a Shakespeare character? All right. Take care. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.